Hi guys and welcome back. As promised, we are now dealing with trigonometric equations and in the previous examples you had triangles which were set up and you then formulated equations from there. In this case, you now have an equation that is given and you kind of have to come up with a triangle if you want to say or an equation if you, uh, if you like. Now, in each of these problems, which are now appearing in your screen, you will see that they are in different forms. Now, the first problem is what I'll call a level one question, which is very simple and straightforward because the equation is already in standard form. The second is a, little, is a level two question where the equation is not in standard form and you have to do some work to put it in standard form. In the third one, the equation is in standard form, but there is something about theta here. It has a coefficient, meaning after finding, after doing arc cos, you're gonna have to divide by three. Finally, in the fourth, what I'll call maybe level four, is that now things are a bit more complicated or extra, so to say. The equation is not in standard form and you've got something added to theta and this is a 10 by the way, 10, so theta plus 10 degrees. So there's quite some work that you've got to do here to actually arrive in your final answer. You can expect these type of questions in your test or your exam. Let us start with the first problem. In, in this one, tan theta equals to five of, over 12. If you think of that nice uh, acronym we made up, SOCATOA, you know that tan is actually opposite over adjacent, which is y over x in those triangles that we had. You could then, um, well, you don't really have to do a lot of work in this case, because what you can just do, we know um, from the triangles that we had set up, um, tan theta is five over 12, then solving for theta, I must do arctan on both sides. May I say this step is really not necessary, but for illustration purposes, I am putting it in. You will see I'll stop putting it in as we move on. And um, that will be under the impression that um, you guys now have the hang of this. So I'll go again, remember on this case, you got your calculator, shift, press the turn button, and then putting five over 12, and you should get an answer in this case of 22.62 if you round correctly to two decimal places. <clears throat> the second problem, in the second problem, again, as I said, you've got some clearing up to do there. Two sine theta is one. We must first put this in standard form and I'll do that by dividing by two both sides. Then I have sine theta, which is one over two. As I said, I'll now stop putting up that step. Your theta here should give you 30 degrees. That example, we have cos three theta is equal to three over five. Of course, you're gonna take arc cos again there, of three divided by five, and you're gonna get theta is equal to 53.13. But sorry, that's not theta, it's three theta. Now to get theta, you must divide by three both sides. And so therefore theta, is 53.13 divided by three, and that should give us uh, something like what? 17.71, okay, uh, not degrees. Oh yeah, actually, sorry. Yes, it is degrees <laughs> because theta is an angle, yeah. Four, we have four sine theta plus 10 degrees is equal to three. Okay, 
4 multiplied by sine theta. So I've got to divide by 4 both sides. Okay. And then I am left now with sine theta plus 10 is 3 over 4. If I take arc sine on both sides, um, 3 over 4, then I get theta plus 10 is equal to 48.59 degrees. <clears throat> Perhaps I should throw in the last type of question that you could possibly get. Maybe let me put this one here and I'll solve it right away. You could get something like, um, um, I think I'm using a lot of sign here. Let me just switch to course. Uh, you can get something like uh, cos theta, okay, minus one is equal to, uh, let's say, zero. Now, I'm putting this deliberately so that you can notice the difference between problem four and problem five. In problem four, theta plus 10 is an angle. In problem five, only theta is actually an angle. So if we were to put this in standard form, then we will have cos theta is equal to one because we just use an additive inverse there. And then if you want a arc cos of one, then you will get the fact that theta is equal to zero degrees. That's something that I thought I should throw in um, so that you guys can uh, you know, get the difference between the different notations. Notice how this problem is written and how that problem is written. Huge difference. Don't make a mistake of having cos theta minus one is equal to zero and you just decide to make that an angle. You will lose marks clearly. And um, please learn from that and be careful not to confuse these expressions as they are brought up to you. In the next uh, video, we are taking things a little bit up also. I hope so far we are together and you are following closely. We will now be discussing solutions in triangles. Actually, we are going to the Cartesian plane in the next example. So brace up for that. Things are now starting to be more interesting, but a little bit complicated, maybe complicated is a strong word, but um, a little bit, what, enhanced? Yes, let's, let's maybe use that, sounds like a nice word. So uh, brace up for that, and I hope you will continue enjoying those sessions. Uh, cheers.